so welcome to my channel ipmi classes so today uh, we will going to discuss about uh, locate and position keyword in ibm db2 so what actually they, this these functions do is they search and uh, search a string or an argument in another search uh, another uh, search string source string you can say so it will find the first occurrence of that uh, search string in the source string and then return the position of that uh, character or that search argument so how we can uh, use these keywords in ibm db2 so let's just start uh, with a basic example for the same so i'll do csql here so let's create a table um, let's come out create a pf using create pf command so i'm creating a file named file1 in library key temp so i'm not giving the definition from the source member so i will set the record length here so it will be a flat file so i'll set suppose i'll set one record length is 192 and press enter and this file file1 created in library q temp so let's see So this is the flat file which gets created in Qtum and you can see the fields the field name is same as the uh, flat file that is file 1 so whose length is 192 we can see DSP of the information for the same as well file 1 in Qtum so we can see that the record format name is also same for this so whenever we are trying to use it in uh, our RPG programs, we need to rename first rename our record format and then we need to prefix our fields which are used in this one that is file 1. Now uh, what I'll do, I'll insert some records here. So I'll uh, insert multiple records at once. So let's see how we can achieve the same. Insert into temp slash file 1. Field name is file one. Again, the same as file name. Now values. We can use values keyword to insert the value here. Provide value here. So let's provide a value here. Create table table one and semicolon. Yes. So again, if you want to provide the next value, here, so I'll uh, add comma here and then copy the same string from here I will paste it like the same you can change the name here to go five you can see that this query will insert multiple records, multiple records at, at once in the tab, in table uh, in file one present in QTemp library. So these are the five records which gets inserted into the file one. Press enter. You can see that five rows inserted in file one in QTemp. Let's see the details as well. Select a star from QTemp slash file one. Sorry, select. Start. So we can see that we have inserted these five records here. Create table, table one, then table two, table three, table four, table five. At last, we can see that we are getting this, this character semicolon. So suppose if we want to remove this character from this table from all the records what we'll do we'll create a query here so let's create a query update qtemp slash file1 set field name is again file1 equals to now we'll substring
file one starting from one now we need to locate or uh, we need to find the position of that semicolon in this file so what we'll do we don't know what is the exact position of that so we'll use uh, position or locate keyword here so first when i'll use position here which will find the first occurrence of this so we'll supply semicolon here in single quotes and then comma then that field name here so the it will find that position so i have to update the value uh, that, till that position minus 1 because i don't i uh, want to include this this value as well in that in the resultant in our result so what we'll do what i'll do i'll minus 1 from here then this bracket gets closed so for position will find this will find this keyword will find the first occurrence of this in this field and this then uh, the position gets find suppose the position comes 10 so 10 minus 1 till 9 we will sub string from 1 to 9 and update this file one field so press enter then so you can see that five rows updated in file one you can see the select result here we can see that create table one table two table three table four table five semicolon has been removed or the result has been updated now so from a single query we have updated all the fields using this position keyword now let's delete these records select there is no records in this file now again i'll insert the same number of records okay now the file has those records as well now again i want to remove these semicolons present at last positions so what i'll do so i'll use the same query so instead of position i'll use locate here so i'll substring the field one value starting from first position till uh, it will find this position in this same field minus 1 so the position that is minus 1 then this so here I can uh, provide uh, starting position also. So locate uh, then search this field in this this search string. This is a search string and this is a source string. And the starting position will be one. So it will search from first position and then I'll minus one the position position it will find find I'll minus one from it. Now we press enter. We can see that again the result was same so using these two things position and uh, locate we can uh, do the achieve the result or desired result so this was the query update field temp for locate one so here uh, we can we can provide the starting position from where we want to uh, find the position of that particular search string in the source string so this is just a benefit for us uh, rather than uh, position keyword so in position keyword we cannot provide that for the starting position from where in the string uh, we want to find the location from the start we cannot uh, uh, provide it here uh, provide here the uh, starting position so these are the two keywords position and locate in IBM DB2 using which we can achieve our desired result as we want. So this will particularly found the uh, starting position or the first occurrence of the search string in the source string and we can then uh, play with the positions and we can then uh, do some string or something in the values. So this is all. Uh, about today's video so thank you for for giving your time